Hey guys, Affinity here today, and I'm going to show you how to use Logmi and Hamachi to play Minecraft single player with your friends. So Logmi and Hamachi, I'm Epic of Shadi by the way. Uh, this is a uh, VPN service which allows you to uh, simulate a LAN connection over the internet. And what it does is it basically connects you and your friends' uh, computers together, and uh, you can open a single player world, open the LAN, and be able to connect to each other's worlds without having to host a dedicated server. Alright, so the first thing you want to do to get this set it up is to download the link. You can click the download now button and it'll automatically download the MSI file. You can also do this using the Mac or Linux TAS, which are listed right here. Um, I've already had this installed, so I'm not going to go through the installation process. It's fairly straightforward. It'll prompt you to click the install button, ask for administrative privileges, you have to accept those, and then you'll have it installed. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your preferences, which is under system, and you can change your name to whatever you want. I have mine set to affinity, and I'm already logged in. Uh, you can log in with your email, and it'll ask you to confirm it, and then you should be set. Now the first step to starting your own network is to press this create a new network button right here. This will prompt you to create a new network ID. So this is basically the name that your network has. I'm going to name mine Illinois BTE. Uh, and I'm going to set a password, so I'm going to say builders rule one, and I'm going to say the same thing here. All right, I'm going to create, and as you can see, we have our own network right here. Now, my friend, which is has his own logmi and Hamachi client, he's going to log in on his end. So what I have to do is I'm going to send him the ID name on Discord. So if I go right here, go here, and then we could do, I'm going to tell him the name, which is Illinois BTE. I'm also going to send him the password, which is builders rule one. All right. And now he's going to record on his end what he's doing. All right. So this is my friend's desktop. As you can see, he has his Maji client open. He's going to start by pressing the power icon right here. It's going to say joining, give it a couple of seconds, and it'll turn online. After you're done, you can do create new network, take the uh, username I sent, or the ID I sent him, you can paste it in, and you can take the password I sent him, paste it in, and after he's pasted all that in, it'll say he's connected to the server, it'll have a green icon right next to it as he's pointing to right here and it'll have me right next to it with the green right there which means I'm connected now once you've finished connecting to the server you'll see your friend that's been logged in right here it'll say direct tunnel over the name and you can right click on them and click ping and it'll say that they're being pinged which means that they're online everything's working so the next thing that you want to do is you want to start opening your single player world. I'm going to go to my Minecraft world right here, wait for it to load in. And now you want to get this port and send it to your friend. So my current port is 9 or 49485. I'm going to send that to him. Perfect. Now he has that, and on his end, he's gonna record what he does to connect to the server. All right, I'm back again on my friend's computer. As you can see, he's looking at his firewall to make sure that Hamachi is allowed through the firewall. And once he's done that, he's gonna right-click on there, and he's gonna copy the IP address right here. And then after that, he's gonna click Direct Connect, and he's gonna put in the IP just copied and he's gonna paste in the port I just sent him with a colon right next to it. It will join server and after he logs in you'll see he's online in my world. So as you can see my username is right there right next to his. Now there are a couple of things to keep in mind when you are using Hamachi. A couple of those things are firewall settings. So whenever you're using a service to bridge 
sort of ports with another computer, your firewall is always gonna, you know, have an eye on whether that uh, connection is authorized or unauthorized. So in order to make sure that this works properly, you wanna go to your Windows search bar and then search up advanced security. All right, this will come up, Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security, you wanna click on that and it'll open up the firewall control panel. Give that a second here. All right, as you can see, it's popped up. Now, there are inbound rules and outbound rules. We care about the inbound rules currently, so we'll take a second for that to show up. And as you can see, these Hamachi client applications have shown up. Now, it's important that these are allowed, so you wanna look at these rules and then double click on them, and it'll say, Hamachi client properties, and you wanna make sure that it says allow the connection, say okay, and make sure that rule is enabled. So click this right here. Same with this rule here, go to check that, allow connection, perfect, enable that rule. All right, another couple of rules that you may run uh, into are if Minecraft's fire, or your firewall blocks Minecraft from connecting. So if you, to solve that issue, you wanna go to the Java platform SE binary rule right here. As you can see, I have a lot of them because I have many instances of Minecraft. Uh, I, for all of them, I always have allow the connection and I have the rule enabled. So as you can see, these are all check marked and if I double click on them, they always say allow the connection. These will ensure that your firewall does not stop you from connecting to anybody else's Minecraft world. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to join the one-to-one -one team in Illinois Discord, which will be linked in the description. Uh, feel free to contact either me or Epic Mr. B. We will both be on here. And feel free to join the Build the Earth Discord as well, which will be in the description. This is the actual main hub of all the operations which go on to, for the Build the Earth project. Thank you again for watching. Please do like if you enjoyed and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.